Welcome to Cooking with Cocktails with your boy Anthony. Today we have something very special for y'all. We're doing some Chinese style beef noodle soup. So if y'all love ramen or anything, this is a notch up from that. A couple of notches on as a matter of fact. But since it's just cooking with cocktails, first we're gonna make our cocktail. And what we're making is a pomegranate Manhattan. So let's get to it. Alright, for our pomegranate Manhattan, what we're gonna need is extra dry vermouth. We also got some um, blended whiskey, scotch and whiskey. We got some pomegranate syrup. And for our garnish, we're gonna use some maraschino cherries. So let's go ahead and get started on this bad boy. All right, we gonna have, we gonna add an ounce of vermouth. We're gonna put, this bad boy's gonna be a little strong. We're gonna put three ounces of our blended whiskey. We're gonna have an ounce and a half of our pomegranate syrup. All right. Once we got that done, we gonna go ahead and shake this bad boy up. Shake it really good, cause we wanna make sure that you get it diluted. That's good to go. Got our glass. Oh, look at the color. Beautiful. Man, I love Manhattans. Regular Manhattan, flavor Manhattans. Some of my favorite drinks. So we got us a martini toothpick and I put two maraschino cherries on it. Now we got our drink, let's taste it. Ah, that's good. It's not sweet, not too sweet. You taste the um, pomegranate. Um, it's a little strong, but it's on point. All right, let's get to cooking. So this right here is for our soup base. Our broth that we're making, we got some carrots, apples, we got tomatoes, we got scallions and celery, half a medium, a half a medium onion, we got some um, beef soup bones, we also have mushrooms, we have ginger, serrano peppers, this is beef bouillon, this is our sweet... um. Sweet soy sauce and regular soy sauce. Pepper flakes. This is our um, cinnamon. Star anise. We got black pepper. Some fennel seeds. And also we got two cloves up, up in there as well. We also got some vegetable bouillon. We got a, a half of a lime. We got a whole garlic that we just cut in half. Fresh parsley. We got our Korean chili sauce. We also got our black bean garlic sauce. Got us some honey. Multicolored pepper. Also, we got some salt. Now, that's completed for our broth. Next, we got our noodles. Let's go on over here and I'm gonna show you what's gonna be our toppings. We got some scallions. These are black sesame seeds, some limes. We also got some um, uh, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms. We're gonna do some thinly sliced carrots. We got um, our Wagyu style beef over here. What we're gonna do is sear this to about medium and then we're gonna slice those. I can never take think of the name of these, but they got like a um, cabbage flavor. I just call them um, baby Chinese um, cabbage, pretty much. All right, time to start. Okay, first thing first, let get, let's get our um, dried seasonings toasted. We're gonna go ahead and put our cinnamon up in there, put our two cloves, pepper, corn, fennel, and uh, star anise. 
And we're just gonna toast this. Make sure you keep moving it so it don't get burnt. So we got this on medium heat. Let's toast this for about five minutes. Remember, toasting this is a very important step. Oh, I wish you can smell it up in here. You're getting all the flavor out. The smell is just beautiful. Almost ready. So our toasting is done. Time to move on to the next step. All right, let's get started on our broth. Take some olive oil. Pop up in there. Now, we're gonna go ahead and add our ginger. Uh, serrano peppers. And then our carrots. Put our onions up in there, bad boy. We'll add the salt. And let's get this stirred up. We're also going to add our apples. Now this stuff is to get everything pretty much caramelized. And that helps bring the flavor out. And you want this, everything on a medium heat when you're doing this stuff. And some pepper. I'm going to go ahead and add our toasted seasoning. And see everything is cut up big because everything is going to be strained out. Going at our celery and our scallions. All right, to this I got a teaspoon of sugar. Man, it smells good. Man. All right, look at that. It is caramelized. Time to add the rest of our ingredients. So to this, we're going to add some black bean garlic. We're going to add our Korean chili sauce. Get this stirred up. Add some pepper flakes. A little bit more salt. We're just going to add some honey. because you want this to be good and rocky. We're going to add our beef bones to this. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Let's add our garlic. Our lime. And our vegetable bouillon. We add our mushroom. Add our sweet soy sauce. Look at that, y'all. Wait till y'all see the color when it's done. Regular soy sauce. I'm gonna add some more salt. Some more pepper flakes. And our beef bouillon. We're gonna add some freshly ground pepper. Remember, all this is gonna be strained out. Peppercorns and everything. As you can see, I didn't add our fresh parsley. Now we're gonna get this stirred up and we're gonna taste it and make sure our seasoning is right. And we're gonna let this simmer for about two hours. All right. It's been about 45 minutes. I've added a little bit more water. Also added some more beef bouillon. I added whole eggs. I'll let that um, 
boil. We also added some um, slap your mama, make it kind of Cajun, and also a little bit more salt and pepper flakes. So it's almost about halfway done. We will see you guys in a little bit. All right. So our broth is ready. Now it's time to go ahead and get this strained out. Man, I wish y'all can smell how good it smells up in here. All right, so this is our broth. All good and strained. Look at that color. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull our meat off the bones. All right, so our broth is looking good. It tastes good. It smells good. Now this is the meat that came off our beef, bone, beef bones. I took them and chopped them up. We're gonna let this simmer on low for about 20 more minutes. All right, now this is our sauteed onions. We're getting these caramelized. And we also got some water in this pan right here that we um let it boil. I'm going to add salt. This is, pan is really just to blanch our veggies. So our onions is caramelized. This is how you want to do it. Just like this. What it does is release all the sugars up in it. Oh man, I can't wait. This is going to be delicious. So our salty water is almost boiling. I'm going to go ahead and add a half lemon. Let that come to a boil. All right, as you can see, our water is boiling. We're about to get ready to start blanching our veggies. So we're gonna put them in there for about 10 seconds. This do not take long. You just wanna get that deep green color. And after you get that, we're gonna take that and put this in a ice bath that way it keeps its color. These noodles are a lot of steps, but trust me, it is worth it. As you can see, they're in the ice bath and you see the nice green color. I'm gonna take these out and let these dry up a little bit. With our carrots, we're gonna blanch these it's gonna let it get a little tender. And also that deep orange color. For about 20 seconds. We got our carrots in our ice bath. Mushrooms we're gonna saute. Let's put some pepper plate. And also we're gonna add a little bit of Sweet soy sauce. You know what Don't forget to add our salt as well as the cracked black pepper. Alright, we're good to go. These don't take nothing about a minute or two. Alright. Let's saute our icon baby cat baby cabbage. You just want these to get brown and a little caramel. Alright. Uh, baby cabbage are ready. See that? That's what you want. Nice caramelized. Now it's time to cook off our wagyu beef. Wagyu style. All right, we got it on medium. We didn't add us some olive oil. Look at our beef. It didn't dried up just like we like it. Our seasoning was just salt and pepper. Now it's time for us to saute them off on each side for about 30 seconds. Listen to this sizzle. You don't want to put too many in there at a time. I'm gonna do three. 30 seconds on each side. Look at that spear. That's what you want. Mm. 
Alright, you can do it. You won't think about meeting. Alright, let's go ahead and remove these. Let's add the other three. Alright, while that cook off, you can actually take, you got our noodles. You can take these and um, cook these off in fresh um, and in water. But I like to actually cook them off in the in our broth that we're gonna use. So we're gonna just put that up in there for about two to three minutes. Turn it up to medium heat. Look at that. Man, I can't wait to eat this. All that marble and that stuff inside the meat. Gonna make the meat juicy and tender. All right, let's go ahead and remove these bad boys. Mm. Now to this, we're gonna add a little bit of garlic. Let's add a little bit of sweet soy sauce. Just a little bit of honey. That's good. We're gonna add some of this Korean chili sauce. I'm also going to take a little bit of this juice uh, broth over here. Not a lot. A bit more. And we're going to add our meat back to this. Alright, our noodles is ready to come out. It has soaked up all the good flavor inside our broth. Mmm. It is going to be good. We're going to have to cut this off. And we're going to put it in the medium. Okay, we're good. Cut this off and we're going to let this rest for about 10 minutes. All right, so our food is ready. The broth is a beautiful color, seasoned perfectly, and it tastes lovely. Now it's time to build our food. We got our broth. Let's go on and get our little baby cabbages. Let's put that on the side just like that. I'm gonna take some of these mushrooms, put them on the side.
It's looking good. And fresh parsley. Just look at it. Make that look delicious. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. All right, our food is ready. It's been a long three to four hours, but trust me, this is worth the wait. Just look at it. That looks delicious. One thing I do need to get me though is some chopsticks. Don't have any. Let me get me some.
Well, you too, family. Till next time. Thank y'all for watching Cooking with Cocktails. This is your boy, Anthony. Y'all, hope you guys enjoy making this dish. Have a wonderful day.